Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Otherwise, let's have a look and see uh, what's coming up. How does this person feel about you, Pisces? How do they feel? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, there's definitely someone who feels possessive or is growing possessive or protective over you. The fact that the Queen of Wands is here, she represents the sign of a Leo. And then the, the, the holding together so tightly of the Four of Pentacles indicates there is someone here who's trying to grab onto you, trying to grab hold or make sense of some sort of situation here. I don't know if there's a little bit of egotistical energy, like egocentric energy, Pisces. There might be someone here who's trying to prove a point. Um, there's maybe someone here who's trying to be very, very influential, trying to convince you of something because that queen of wands is here. So they're wanting some sort of stability or concreteness with you. Now, what's also come up, that ten of swords, I don't know if there, uh, there's a situation here where this person feels a little bit betrayed. And maybe that's why they're showing that powerful lioness energy that uh, the queen of wands exudes. So... That Ten of Swords can often be seen as a betrayal or hurt uh, or uh, a deceived energy, but it happens more with communication or words. So there might be someone here who feels like you've communicated something to them that's very much hurt them. Uh, it might be, it's more words and mentality, the way you thought about them or what you said about them that's caused potentially a little bit of heartache or pain or someone that felt like they've been hurt in some way by you. So... And maybe that's why they've retracted. That's that's indicating why they've sort of um, gone off on their own, sort of closed off a little bit, and maybe have even pulled away a little bit, have, have pulled the brakes on things, or they want to stop, you know, things from eventuating further. Um, why? Because the Knight of Pentacles is also here. Okay, he's the knight that stops. He's very stationary. Okay, he's got the pentacle here, but he's, a, he's at a standstill. So right now, this person might not be necessarily ready to move things along. And again, I don't know if I'm going back to ego here or not because the Queen of Wands is here. What also makes me think is that the fact that the Black Cat is here could be superstition. And that's not to say that everyone who's superstitious is paranoid, but they're very aware and it could make them a little bit anxious. So in some way, this person could be feeling paranoid or like maybe they don't trust you right now or... Whatever this is, that they're, they're afraid that that might repeat itself. Now, whether or not you cause this or whether or not they cause this, but because of this, I feel right now they're in a space, Pisces, where they are feeling like they want to pull the brakes on things. They want things to just stay as they are. You might not see much movement forward. Again, the lion is predictable. It's Leo energy here, and the lion strikes and pounces when he needs to or when she needs to. So... I mean, it's a strategy, it's it's survival for the lion, but uh, maybe they're not ready to strike right now. Maybe they're not ready to pounce, they're not ready to jump into things, they're not ready to pick things up where they once were. I think there's potentially a lot of thinking that needs to happen. And look, maybe they're just shedding layers. Maybe this has nothing to do with you, Pisces. It's something else that's happening in their personal life or career life or, you know, their professional lives. And it's, it's spilling into the relationship or the connection. And maybe that's why they're, they're, they're pulling the brakes on things right now. But it could be that they want space to themselves. They want time on their own. Maybe they feel like they need their power back. The Queen of Wands is very, very powerful. She holds a lot of power and she can represent things like respect. You know, representing the lion here, the king of the jungle. Respect, territory, pride, you know. All those things, maybe there's someone here who doesn't want to swallow their pride and admit to something. So this could have something to do with them potentially pulling away. Uh, so I think a reason why they're pulling away is either they feel hurt, they feel discouraged, or they're paranoid. That paranoia, that that um, superstitious energy with the black cat, you know, never cross the black cat. Um I don't know if, if someone's crossed the line here, if you've crossed a certain line in the connection or they have, and as a result, maybe it's things have happened too quickly and as a result, that's why they're pulling back. Uh, or it's, it's in some way, this person needs to get their power back. And whatever that means to them, 
however they they need to get that power back uh maybe you know you've had the last word in a situation maybe you've done something and you've hurt them maybe you've done something something that's shown you're possessive or controlling i mean if if it's if it's not um possessiveness and protection that's coming forward from you then it could be coming forward from this um person so maybe in some ways this person feels like you're too possessive, you're too controlling, you want your power and this is why they're standing still. This is why right, right now they're not progressing because they're hurt or offended by it. Okay, the the black really dominates this card here, but we must understand, you know, this gorgeous yellow, this, this ray of light that comes through and that is evident and, and traceable in the other cards could indicate that this person is coming into their light. But the theme of black still stands, the black cat, the black cloak, the black horse, the darkness. Maybe this is duality. Maybe this is the, the contrast between light and dark. Maybe something has recently happened in the connection that has made this person see you in a different light, whether it's in that light, beautiful yellow, or it's in the dark. Um, maybe someone has seen you in your deepest, darkest moments, Pisces. And this would explain how they're currently feeling there's something about contrasting behavior that they've seen. And maybe right now, uh, they are maybe just pulling back that little bit, distancing themselves in a way. Okay. Um, because the Ten of Swords can indicate an ending, we've got the swords. There's someone here who may feel like they need to back away or stop talking to you altogether. I don't know if this is blocking for some of you. Again, ego, okay? Ego makes us do a lot of things um, when we're very fueled up um, and in that intense period of emotion. Um, this could be an end to communication. Maybe, um, maybe there's someone here who says, who insists that maybe you should um, end communication for now or they're not ready to talk about something. They're not ready to open up. You need to give them their space, Pisces. They're at a standstill. There's a lot of things they're thinking through, a lot of options they're considering. Maybe not necessarily different people or options in love, but the openness, the receptivity, how receptive she is, the Queen of Wands, says to me that this person is taking in a lot. I think they're processing a lot of information. So if you do see that sort of pulling back or uh, communication that has ended or losing that mental spark, it might be because of that. It could also be that they feel they're becoming too possessive over you and they need to slow themselves down. So everything could be going really well in the relationship. Maybe this person has insecurities. Uh, maybe they just like to, to be quite possessive or protective over their partners. And maybe they're sort of, noting this sort of noticing this sort of egocentric behavior on their part. And that could definitely be another reason as to why they're pulling away. It could have nothing to do with betrayal or hurt or pain. Maybe this is this, own, this, you know, we all carry burdens and skeletons and trauma. And maybe this has nothing to do with you, Pisces. But in actual fact, it's making this person feel, you know, crazy over you. They're feeling paranoid. They're feeling uh, uh, possessive. They feel jealous. And maybe they're noticing the behavior. And maybe it caused strife in previous relationships. And this is why they want to avoid. They don't want to betray you or hurt you. So maybe them pulling away is the fact that they notice this sort of behavior that they know will push you away, Pisces. So this is why they may be doing this sort of thing, okay? This is my, how they might be feeling and the behavior that they may be exhibiting. I will leave your reading at that, though. So thank you once again for tuning in, Pisces. I really do appreciate it.